G'day, I'm Karen Marie. Welcome to Life in the Bush. In this video, I will be introducing you to a climbing plant with stunning purple flowers. It's this one behind me here, Hardenbergia comptoniana. Now it's a very common plant in bushland in the Perth region and the Perth region is the traditional land of the Noongar Wadjuk people. I just want to acknowledge that they are the traditional custodians of the land where I'm filming today. If you have an interest in nobility from 200 years ago you might be interested in where Hardenbergia Comp Comptoniana got its botanical name from. Hardenbergia was named after Franziska Countess von Hardenberg and the species name Comptoniana after Mary, the first Marchioness of Northampton, whose husband was Charles Compton. Compton Comptoniana? The rest is history. The common name generally used for Hardenbergia Comptoniana is native wisteria because the flowers look very similar to wisteria, which is not a native plant. So if you're a fan of wisteria and would prefer to plant a native in your garden, Hardenbergia is a great one to plant. Now the best name for the plant I think is the shortest one which is the Noongar name and that is Kaula. K-O-O-R-L-A. And not only did they give it a really short and sweet name, they made good use of the strong flexible stems to make rope or twine and build shelters. Now essentially it is a climbing plant but it can grow on its own in the form of a shrub and it can vary in height depending on how tall the plant is that it grows on. The leaves usually grow in threes and these stunning flowers come out from around June, July and continue on through to September, October here in Western Australia. Something else really cool about these stunning flowers, if you're getting close here, you can see two little eyes. The flowers are generally this deep purple colour but you can also get them in a lighter mauve and occasionally a pink or white. Now this is what a white one looks like but this was in a garden so I'm assuming it was bought from a nursery. Something pretty cool that I heard about Hardenbergia comptoniana is after the flowers are fertilised and a pod develops on the plant apparently on a dry hot summer's day you can actually hear the pod explode so if you're walking through the bush and it's a hot summer's day and you hear little explosions and pops try not to be too concerned it might just be Hardenbergia spreading its seeds as far and wide as it can. If you live on the east coast of Australia in Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria or Tasmania, your local Hardenbergia is Hardenbergia violacea. So if you want to plant a native in your garden, it is important that you do get the one that is native to your state. The Hardenbergia violacea from the eastern states and Hardenbergia comptoniana from, the West, from Western Australia can hybridise and therefore change the genetic makeup of the native plants in the bushland. So it is important if you can to buy the one specific to your state. And of course by growing locally native plants you're providing habitat and food sources for your local native birds and insects and snails and all creatures. Now in the bush where you have a natural balance in the ecosystem, Hardenbergia grows in harmony with other plants. Uh, where you have an adapted environment occasionally, Hardenbergia can grow so successfully that it may actually kill off other plants because it's so successful at growing over them. Now if you plant it in your garden be aware of that you might want to keep it pruned so it doesn't take over. You know what I've really enjoyed being out here filming for you today and sharing with you about Hardenbergia comptoniana. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you for spending your valuable time with me. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope that you get an opportunity to get out in nature today. There's so much beauty in nature. I really hope you get a moment to pause and take in all that beauty. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Life in the Bush.